out two minutes. Mike. Yes. Thank you, Madam Chairman, and thank you, Commissioner, for explaining the proposal um, once more. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed by that because uh, I expected to also hear what potential change you can see in the proposal. And what I get from your speech, uh, Madam Commissioner, is there is no change possible anymore. What was agreed by the member states, who are indeed not present here, is that all vehicles can emit to 168 milligrams per kilometer until 2019. You mentioned only the date for new models, but we have to discuss all vehicles, then it's 2019, you know that very well. And also the 1.5 conformity factor, which means changing our standard from 80 to 120, and that only starting in 2021. Although already in 2007, we, as co-legislators, decided that it should go to 80 in 2014. That's what we did in co-legislation. What they do in a technical committee now is saying this value can move to 120 until 2021. So even if you are on the hand for the car industry, you cannot accept that in a technical committee we are adjusting what we decided as co-legislators. And it is important to realize that now already we can improve much more. Today in the Flemish news, Mr. Ballet, Opel, one car with a simple software correction, was going down from 750 to 200 just on one day. And you are agreeing now that they have time until 2021 to water down a proposal that was decided in 2007. That's what you are going to agree upon. And Commission, the Social Democrats, asked a very clear question. Will there be a new proposal on the conformity factors, yes or no? And we demand a clear answer tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is Madam Evie. One minute. Thank you.